Hey friends, it's Kay from Closet Keepsakes, and I'm here with another trendy thrift video for you all today. Today I am not doing a haul, but in preparation for hopefully doing a haul soon, a shopping trip and a haul, I did want to come and give you guys some tips on how to have thrifting success when it comes to fashion and accessories. Um, I just have a few tips that I definitely would recommend for a novice thrifter or even for those of us who have been thrifting for a while but you know we just kind of get in the rut of things we have to remind ourselves of a few tips to just focus and get ourselves together for that shopping trip so hopefully these will be helpful to you let's get started okay so tip number one especially for the novice is be patient y'all Thrift stores are not like regular retail stores where you have like 20 of the same item in a variety of sizes and you just go to that section and get exactly what you want and then walk away. Thrift stores is like a scavenger hunt in a lot of ways. Like you're looking through a number of different, very diverse items um, and a ton of different sizes. And depending on the store, it may not be very organized and put together so you definitely have to have patience in order to find that item you know so you got to really be patient take a deep breath and just get your mind mentally ready for that trip especially if you're a new thrifter um tip number two is set aside some time so this definitely goes hand in hand with tip number one thrifting takes time y'all um like i said there's not 20 of the same item. It's a lot of different things going on in a thrift store, even in um, varied sections. So you definitely want to take time. And it also, because you're dealing with a lot of like used items and things like that, you want to be able to really observe and take note of what the clothing looks like, make sure it's intact and order. You want to make sure you can fit it um, because typically there's not a, a return or exchange policy that is active in the store. Um, so you just want to make sure you have enough time to really look through everything, look through each garment, look through all the bins, the shelves, the racks, and really get a good deal and get the things that you want. Okay, so tip number three is move around. Like, um, I kind of have a pattern to how I do things in different stores. Like in one store, I always go straight to the dress section. In another store, I might go straight to the shirt section. I kind of have my space mapped out. But regardless of which section I go to first or last, I always want to go to every section. I definitely move around the store to see what I can find. Sometimes I even go to sections that I know I don't need anything in. So like right now it's summertime, I might still go to the coat section and look through the coats and see if there's any great deals. Sometimes they have those type of items that are out of season on sale. So it's always great or marked down. Um, always great to just search those sections and see if there's any gems that you really want to pick up, even though it's out of season. So move around, look throughout the store, look through all the sections and see if there's any great deals, you know, in other places that you didn't necessarily intend to go to. Okay, so the next tip, and this is a big one for me, and I really have to kind of train myself to do this, is put it in the cart. If you are interested in it, put it in the cart. Even if you're not sure about the size or you're not really sure if it's the right color or texture, whatever, if you're interested in it, put it in your cart. You can definitely take the side some time to sort through things and figure out if it's for you, if it fits, um, if it's intact and uh, looks the way you really want it to. But if you're interested in it, put it in your cart because... Like I said, there's not 20 items. So somebody else might swoop that up and you might regret it later. So definitely um, put it in your cart if you're interested and you can look through, sort through, figure out if it's really for you and another point in your um, thrift trip. Okay, so the next tip that I have for you guys is know when the deals are hot. Now, if you're a person who thrifts all the time, you probably already have a rhythm for this. You know what color tabs are on what day. You know the percentage off. You know when it's going to be a holiday sale. You already know what's going on. But it's great to know when their sales, if they have advertisements, take a picture so you can remind yourself. If they have little flyers that they're handing out, make sure you grab one, put it on your little pin board at home. So you are reminded when the deals are coming. 
Now, y'all, I'm just letting you know, if you know when the deals are coming, there's other people who knows when the deals are coming, so it's probably going to be a little more packed in the store. But get yourself mentally prepared, set aside the time, and be ready, y'all. But just know that you're going to get the best deals on those days. Their stores are already full of clo clothing and fashion that is, you know, discounted or marked down. But you're going to get better deals on um, sale days and clearance days. Okay, so the next tip I have for you is to remove distractions. Y'all, I, I love my child, and he is old now, so, but he is, he's not a thrifter like that either, so I know at some point, probably early in my trip, if he goes with me, he's going to be kind of like, are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? I don't want to be here. What are we doing next? Like, all of that is a distraction, Okay. If people, whether it's your kids, a friend, if your friend's not a thrifter or not into it like that, leave them people at home. Leave them at home. Another distraction could be the clothing you're wearing. Like if you got on tight shoes and they're not comfortable, you know, that's going to wear on you after a while you're going to be done. If you got clothing that is too hot or you just want to make sure that you're comfortable, that you're with people that are of the mind, same mindset and that any distractions that's going to keep you from getting the best deal and focusing on your thrift trip, y'all, they got to go. You got, they got to go. I'll see you when I get back. Tips. Oh, I have one more tip for you guys, actually. You don't have to buy. Sometimes, you know, we just have unsuccessful thrift trips. And I'm saying this because I really want you guys to save money. If You know, that's what thrifting is about. It's about saving money, finding affordable deals. But sometimes you just have unsuccessful thrift trips where you're not finding anything, even on a sale day. Don't force yourself to buy things that you don't really want or that you don't need just because it's on sale or just because it's a good deal. It's okay to leave the store empty-handed. It really is. And I'm going to say this is a hard one for me, but I am putting it into practice because I don't want a closet full of stuff that I'm not going to wear. So those are my tips. Y'all, thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, thumbs up, share this video with a friend, and I will see you guys on the next Trendy Thrift video. Bye, y'all.